Hi folks, Tommy Emanuel here. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Andy McKee, thank you Andy. Um, and uh, we, we're here tonight in support of the glorious Coach House, which is in San Juan Capistrano, uh, south of Los Angeles, a great, great uh, American venue. And uh, so we, uh, we send all our love out to you. I'm gonna get picking for you now. experimenting a lot today <laughs> I'm trying some different things um, and uh, I've got a brand new Kirk Sand nylon string guitar here that uh, Kirk made for me and uh, I thought I'd, I'd uh, use this guitar for since we met uh, on uh, tonight's show um, I wrote the song as a love song and I wrote it in the back of a taxi I had the idea and I just wrote it and I recorded it on a little portable cassette player that's how long ago it was and and um, it was one of the first songs that I heard of mine on the radio and I'll just never forget that feeling um, I'm driving home from being in town and on the radio comes my song and it was just it was an incredible moment and I remember it well so here it is since we met
but since we met. All right, we did it. All right, so. Okay, here we go. Well, here's a song I wrote um, doing a photo shoot, would you believe? Um, there's a, uh, the makeup lady had a little daughter named Elliot and uh, she had a big shock of black hair and uh, similar to what I used to have 40 years ago. And um, anyway, this little Elliot was so cute and I was giving her cuddles and kisses and, and I said to her, you know, you and your husband make such beautiful babies, yeah, will, will you have another baby? And she said, no, only Elliot. And as soon as she said those words, I had to write this song. So here it is. Uh, only, uh, only Elliot. <laughs> Here's another tune while I've, while I've got my guitar in this tuning with a capo on the second fret and all the stars lined up here. Um, I, I want to play uh, uh, Papa George for you. And uh, Papa George to me is George Harrison, the, uh, the, the, the father of modern rock and roll guitar. And uh, um, I'm a big, big George fan. And so what, what I did when I was writing this song, um, I tried to use what I call Georgisms. Uh, things uh, like uh, same melody major to minor things like like that and where the melody the melody finishes on the third instead of the root note so I did a few things like that I took a little license but I wanted to pay uh, to tribute uh, to one of my all-time heroes George Harrison here it is Papa George uh, by the way, Papa George is not a pizza place. Just for, for your own. <laughs> All right, so how does it go?
a little tribute to um, a little tribute to Here Comes the Sun there at the end. It's party, as they say here in Tennessee. Yeah, so that's that's Papa George. I hope you enjoyed that. It's Mombasa time, and uh, this is one of the most important songs of my life. And I wrote the song in Kenya, um, and I was there making a documentary for World Vision and raising money. And um, and I got terribly sick, as you do when you're um, a white fella from Australia like me, and you go over to a place like Africa. Uh, you don't have the African stomach, and uh, so. I had to work uh, while being sick. I had to fast for 10 days and uh, only drink water. And uh, it was really hard, but it was an amazing experience. And from that trip came uh, probably some of the best music I've ever written uh, because it was inspired. It was in completely inspired. And, uh, and uh, I was visiting children that I sponsor through World Vision and it was a beautiful experience. Um, as I said, I got sick, that's for sure. Uh, in fact, with all my travels through my life, uh, there has been some countries where you've got to be so careful that you will get sick in those countries, so you've got to be careful. Um, we got white man's belly, what can you say? That's it. So, Anyway, so here's the song, um, Mombasa, Ho hope you like it. All right, 
you know, I was going to do a long introduction for you folks out there for this song, but I'm not. I'm going to go straight in. Oh, this song's called Fume.
All right. <laughs> the showstopper, get off. All right. I'm trying to instruct everybody. Hey, is everybody ready? You don't need to be ready. We're just rolling cameras here when we're having fun. Uh, it's one of the things I love about um, doing these kind of live uh, uh, film things is that, um, you know, there's no set plan. And, and when a friend shows up, they end up getting their guitar out and we end up playing together. It's a lot of fun. Um, I wanted to play one of my new songs from the new album, Tommy Songs, for you. And uh, this is a little piece I wrote. It's called Song for a Rainy Morning. song for a rainy morning okay all right let's do this this is a song I usually start the show with because um, it, it kind of sets it up you know but yeah and you're always looking for the right opener it's very important when you're a traveling artist who, who makes a living playing music and and um plays a lot of shows you 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 need to have some good repertoire to choose from this is one of those songs that i purposely wrote as a uh, as an opener it's called traveling clothes <laughs> Thank you. 
Traveling clothes. Uh, you know, I, I'm not sure if I played Three Bridges in that song. <laughs> I lost track of where I was going. I was having a good time. And I may have played uh, Three Bridges. If I did, well then, ladies and gentlemen, there's an extra bridge for you. You can never have too many bridges. <laughs> um, well, we're here uh, to uh, talk about the Coach House, which is in San Juan Capistrano, uh, south of Los Angeles. It's a great venue, and the reason I brought it up is, first of all, I really love the place, and it's a big part of American music and culture. Uh, but it was one of the first places that my hero, Chet Atkins, told me about. He said, do you play in Los Angeles? And I said, oh, only, only occasionally. And he said, you should play in San Juan Capistrano. There's a place called the Coach House and everybody loves to play there. And he rattled off, you know, oh, there's me and, and um, uh, a whole bunch of people that uh, uh, I knew, of course. And, um, and so I finally got... A show there and I loved it and the people were wonderful and and uh, venues like that and the Birchmere in, in uh, Alexandria um, <clears throat> the Ram's Head Tavern places like that they're a big part of um, America's musical culture and um, and believe me you have a rich rich music culture here boy do you ever so uh, yeah it's a great privilege to travel around this country and uh, and play play music. But I brought up Chet Atkins because I'd like to play a couple of pieces from the album that Chet and I did together. And uh, the album's called The Day Finger Pickers Took Over the World. And uh, that the idea of that song was stolen uh, from um, Dave Pomeroy, one of our dear friends, and a guy who played with, with Chet. And I had the good fortune to play with Dave a number of times, a great bass player from uh, Nashville. And he wrote a tune called The Day Bass Players Took Over the World. See, because bass is a different frequency. And so we kind of rewrote the lyric and made it The Day Finger Pickers Took Over the World so that we could, we could sing about it and play about it together. So uh, here's a couple of songs from the album. Mr. Guitar. <laughs> Mr. Guitar. 
<clears throat> one of the other songs that are, that is on the album is a beautiful song written by uh, by Chet, and the bridge was by uh, my friend Randy Goodrum. And uh, Chet said it, he he didn't think there was enough music written in the key of B, and so he, he as he said he went exploring. This is what he came up with: to be or not to be. This is um, uh, uh, a tune called Gdansk, uh, which is a Polish town. Uh, yeah, so uh, this is uh, Gdansk into the Tall Fiddler. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
Here's a song uh, that uh, Chet and I recorded on the Finger Pickers album, and um, uh, this is one he wrote. It's a beautiful song. I love playing this tune. It's uh, Smoky Mountain Lullaby. <clears throat>
go, those who wait. <clears throat>
piece I wrote, um, and I, uh, I, I recorded it on my iPhone, and I sent it to my daughter, Rachel, who was four years old at that time. And I said to her mother, uh, play this to Rachel and ask her, what is this music about? What is this song about? And so she listened to it, and, and then she said, it sounds like the wide ocean. <clears throat> and I thought, what an amazing title, and what an amazing little soul she is. And um, she, she totally had a grasp on what was Daddy was trying to write about. So here it is, the wide ocean. Check it out. Um, all right. All right, here's a song that uh, Chet Atkins and I recorded, um, and this was my arrangement from about 93, 94, around that time when I was living in Melbourne, Australia. And uh, uh, Julian Lennon 
uh, the son of John Lennon, Julian, had a wonderful record out and a big hit with this song. And, um, and uh, it was co-written with a guy named Mark Spiro, who I eventually met uh, years later in, um, in San Diego. But, uh, you know, Julian uh, really hit on a beautiful song here. And, uh, and it, 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 the song has a great message. <clears throat> but also, um, I believe that uh, the melody uh, is one of those stand-up melodies that will just stand up for the rest of, of uh, time. It's a beautiful melody. And I must thank my brother Phil... Uh, for pointing this song out to me. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful melody. So here it is, Salt Water. <clears throat> This is a this is another song that I I wrote from, you know, things that happen in your life. Uh, life uh, is hard, and um, sometimes you you got to dust yourself off and pick yourself up and get going. And that's what this song is all about: the endless road. <laughs>
One, two, hello. Three. All right, if everybody's ready. All right. Well, I hope you've had a good time uh, and enjoyed the music today. Uh, it's been a joy to play for you. I have a surprise guest for you now, and here he is. His name's Richard Smith. Can you see him? Hey, there guys. he is. <laughs> <laughs> this is Richard's studio, and uh, thanks for uh, uh, g g getting your cigar box out so we could spank a tune together, brother. Oh, man, it's and, real. It's um, to do it. Introduce you to my new Kirk Sand. I you love it. I saw that being made at Kirk's uh, uh, Kirk shop right. over a period of a couple of years. And yeah. I love them at, at all stages of the, of the making, you know. I love <laughs> to see the bare wood and just yeah. things slowly getting on and taking shape, you know. Exactly. That's it. <laughs> It really is an awesome guitar. Well, he is, um, he's the best. He is. There's no doubt about that. Um, I thought it might be a nice idea to play Wheels for, for the folks. You oh. remember, um, um, I remember when that song came out by the, I think it was the String Alongs? Was that who it was? Or something yeah. like that. With a... Right. Cha -cha thing, and, then, and then we heard Chet play it, of course, right, and there right. he is right there yeah, up yes. on the wall. Indeed, yeah. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll uh, start this out and, and you just make out you know what you're doing. <laughs> so I'll you're give it, it a go. Thanks, Jimmy buddy. Torres. Yeah. yeah. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Um, hope you've enjoyed the music and uh, the spirit w with which it was delivered. Um, it's, a, it's a strange world when there's no applause and when there's uh, uh, no, no people, just my friends here behind the cameras. Uh, and um, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a sad, lonely world. No, it's all right. But um, 
I, I hope that we can uh, get together again at, at, at another time and, uh, you know, su- support these venues, support your local music industry if, if you can. And, uh, you know, if you want to support someone like Robin Trey uh, or uh, Andy McKee or myself or a- any other artist out there, you know, just buying w- one thing of their products is at least something. Um, and um, so, uh, you know, we all need to help each other r- right now. And, um, well, let's see, we- see what's around the corner for us. And uh, I wish you all the best. Lots of love.